Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is the first in a series of four showing you the locations of rare cars. I will also show you the timing and the requirements so that you should have no problem trying to find them. With that, let us go look for the first car of the day and that would be the Red Loader. So here we are in Polito Bay where the Red Loader spawns. And right now I am driving a Dune Loader which actually helps the Red Loader to spawn very easily. And it's very easy to steal one around the Polito Bay area because it is a very, very common spawn. So all you have to do is to drive this vehicle starting from the police station at one end and slowly drive uh, according to the route that I'm showing you right now. So once you reach Cluck and Bell, just make a detour into the parking lot. Go through the parking lot and exit from the other side. And continue heading to Los Santos Customs at the end of the road, all the while driving slowly so that you give the vehicle a chance to spawn. The spawn time for the Red Loader is any time from 9am to 2pm and it will always spawn at the same spot. So there are two variations of that, one is in green and one is in yellow. So now as you can see we've got the green one. Both the green and the yellow will be upgraded uh, partially but each of them will have a different upgrade so they actually look different from each other. Bringing up the phone it says 936. So I'm just going to drive this into LS Customs, uh, put a tracker on it so that it can be in my garage. Well, apparently the red loader is classified under muscle cars. And um, I must say, I, I, when I first saw them, I didn't know that. So let's just repair the vehicle and then scroll down. Yep, get a tracker on it and it will be in my garage. One thing I need to add here, so once you've got this vehicle, don't even try to use it to spawn additional ones because I have tried many times and it doesn't work that way. So if you want to spawn this again or more, you have to go back to getting a dune loader. So now you see me repeating the same route and I am using another dune loader that I picked up uh, from the street so that I can actually show you the time when I spawn the next one. And so again, the time is from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And this time around, I think we're somewhere closer to about like, what, 12 p.m. Let's open in time, 12.26, and we got a green one again. I will consider the red loader to be quite an easy spawn. So I'm just doing this again for a few more times just to see what time we actually spawn it at. So here's another green one, and it's 1.21 p.m. So you can see with the dune loader, it spawns pretty consistently every time you are at the right timing. So this time around, we have the yellow. And look at this, look at the time, it is 2.06. Next up, I will be spawning the Sabre Turbo at Los Santos Customs. So these spawn actually any time from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. They actually spawn at all three LSCs uh, within the city, one at La Mesa, one at Rockford Hills, and the other one near the airport. But I'm just going to show you the La Mesa one. And to make it easier to spawn them uh, without running out of time, what I do is I go into missions that actually locks time at 12 p.m. So I don't have to worry about not being at the right time to spawn them. The mission I am using right now is time to get away and it locks time at 12 p.m. So what you do first is you get a muscle car or the Sabre Turbo itself since you're trying to spawn it and start driving it around a few blocks away or some distance away and then going back to the LSC. I found that you can actually go at full speed or slow down and that doesn't really matter. Um, if it does spawn, it will spawn. This is not that difficult to spawn, although sometimes it, it takes uh, quite a few tries to actually get it to spawn. So this time around, um, you can see that we actually get the, the red one. There are two versions of this. One is in red and one is in green. So what I'll do here is I'll just hop into the red one and then uh, I'll just bring it to my garage. Why I like to do it at La Mesa LSC is because surrounding it, there are about three to four garages that are nearby. So anytime you get a spawn, you can actually drive it right into your garage, even when you are in this mission. So it saves you a lot of time than having to drive very, very far away uh, to actually store this in your garage. And overall, you will get more spawns. I'm just going to show you a few of the spawns I'm getting right after I store this into the garage. So this time around, we have spawned the green one. You can see that I'm driving a different car, uh, but I've actually left my Sabre Turbo at the spawn place. So it works that, that way as well. I mean, if you want to do it that way, both the green and the red have different upgrades. Um, and I think the green one is actually cheaper to, to actually sell. The red one actually sells for more. Using the same location, same timing and uh, same mission. Now we are spawning the Imponte Ruiner. 
So this also comes in two different variations, uh, one which is black and orange that you see right now. Again, you can spawn this with any muscle car that you are driving or preferably uh, if you can, you steal an NPC car that is actually the exact model of the Ruiner so that you can actually uh, spawn this easier. For those of you who are new to this, you will find that uh, Los Santos Customs in the city is the spawn point for many other vehicles, uh, which I will gradually show you. So if you're starting out um, and just starting to play the game, this could be a good way to supplement your income because they do sell more than the normal cars. Now using the black and orange one that I got, I am trying to spawn another one. And now I can see that there's another one just there waiting for us. So I'm just going to put this in the garage as well. And again, I am just driving another car while leaving my Ruiner at uh, the Los Santos Customs. And there we can see that it does work that way and he has spawned a green one for me. So now we have completed the spawns for two variations. So the last one I'm showing for today is a Bravado Gauntlet. And I just grabbed a street car of an NPC. So same timing, same location and same mission. It's just a different car. I would consider the cars uh, for today's spawns are, are pretty easy. So they do come by pretty easily. They spawn pretty easily as long as you know where to go and as long as you use the right cars. I know that some people actually collect these cars and store them in the garage for as uh, this display pieces. So as we turn into the garage, we can see that uh, the rare Bravado Gauntlet has spawned, sort of a bluish purple color. And I think it looks rather amazing. So we've come to the end of the first part. And I will be putting up the second part tomorrow. When you do have the time, do go and try it out. And if you find something different, you can always feedback uh, in the comments below. Do drop a like and subscribe because I'm almost at 100 subscribers. Well, thanks for staying till the end of the video. And I hope to see you tomorrow in part two. Thanks for watching.